everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to solve a system of linear equations using the method of graphing. So we'll start off talking about what is a system of linear equations. It's a set of two or more linear equations in the same variables, right? So this part where it says in the same variables, that just means the two equations have the same variables. So most often while we're, we're looking at um, x and y, right? So since we have x and y, a solution to a system is an ordered pair that is a solution of each equation in the system. Okay, so when we say we're solving a system, we're trying to find that one x comma y coordinate pair that satisfies or is a solution to both of the equations in our system. Okay, now in a system of equations, we could have more than two equations, but we need at least two. Okay, the, the systems that we're going to deal with in Algebra 1 will just have two equations. Okay, so when we talk about system, there's three methods that we could use to solve a system of linear equations, and there's also three types of solutions that we could have. So we're gonna go over all, th all three of the methods, or talk about all three, but in this video, we're gonna focus on graphing. So we can solve a system by graphing, we can solve a system by using substitution, and we can use what's called elimination. So we'll have separate videos on substitution and elimination. For graphing, it's kind of a three-step process. So on the right side of our screen here, we see our three steps that we wanna follow when we are trying to use graphing, okay? So step one <clears throat> says we wanna make sure each equation is in slope-intercept form. Now, this might be a step that we can skip if the two equations are already in slope-intercept form, right, remember, which is y equals mx plus b, okay? If we don't have an equation, or if we have an equation that's not in slope-intercept form, then we just need to rewrite it so that it's y equals mx plus b. Once we have the two equations in slope-intercept form, we're gonna graph each equation in the same coordinate plane. That's very important. Because the solution to a system is the ordered pair that is a solution to both equations. Well, remember when we graph an equation, the solutions are on the line. So if we have two lines and they intersect, we are trying to find the point of intersection, and that would be our solution, where the two lines intersect. Okay, so that kind of brings us to the types of solutions that we could have. So we could have one solution, we could have no solution, or we could have what's called infinitely many solutions. When we're talking about graphing, one solution is when we have intersecting lines. Okay, so we graph our two lines and they intersect at one point, there's one solution. No solution would be if we have parallel lines because if the intersection is the solution, if there's no solution, there's no intersection. Well, if, there, if two lines don't intersect, then they are parallel. And then we could have infinitely many solutions, which would just be we have the same lines, right? So we graph two lines, and they map right on top of each other. They're called coinciding lines. And basically, every point is a solution on both equations, right? So they're just the same line, so there's infinitely many solutions, okay? So like I said, we're gonna focus on graphing in this video, and we're gonna look at three examples, one of each type of solution. So example number one says solve the system by graphing, and we have y equals negative x plus five, and y equals two x minus one. First thing we wanna notice, they're both in slope-intercept form, so we can kinda of skip that first step and just go ahead and graph both of these equations in the same coordinate plane. So negative x plus five, I'll put my y-intercept at five, and we're gonna go down one, right one, or up one, left one. Okay, so I'm just gonna give us maybe five points here, and draw our line, okay? And I'll draw it going both ways here, okay? <clears throat> so there's my, my first equation, y equals negative x plus five. Now we're gonna graph y equals two x minus one. So negative one would be here, and we're gonna go up two and right one. One, two, one, one, two, one. Okay, and so now notice when we graph our line, we have a point of intersection right there and that point of intersection will be our solution to the system. So that's two comma three. And that's our solution, okay? So we would say this is one solution, right? Good. Okay, example two. We have y equals negative x plus three and we have two x plus two y equals four. So the first equation is good to go. It's in slope intercept form, so let's go ahead and graph it. Negative x plus three, so positive three, and then down one, right one, once again or up one, left one. Okay, so we'll graph our line there, and I'll extend it going this other way. Okay, 
Now the second equation is not in slope intercept form. So let's put it in slope intercept form by subtracting two x from both sides. Now we have two y equals negative two x plus four. And now let's divide by the coefficient of y so we can get y equals negative x plus two. Okay, so now we're gonna graph this equation, y equals negative x plus two. So we're gonna put our y-intercept at positive two and we're gonna go down one, right one, or up one and left one. Okay, so if you notice now when we graph our lines, we have parallel lines. Okay, so there is no intersection, so the answer here would be no solution. Okay, one thing to take note of when we are doing systems, if you get no solution, we should be able to look back at our um, equations and, trying to pick a good color here, the slope should be the same, right? So there we had negative x, there we had negative x, so that tells us the slope is negative one. Um, so we have the same slope, but we had different y-intercepts, right? So that's key. So same slope, different y-intercept. That's gonna be um, a no solution, that's gonna give us parallel lines, right? If we go back to our one solution example, we had different slopes, right? Negative one, positive two, okay? So if we have different slopes, there will be a solution, okay? All right, last example, and this is gonna be our infinitely many example, right? So we've had one solution, we looked at no solution, now let's look at this one. So both of these equations now are not in slope-intercept form. So this top equation, we have negative two x plus y equals three, so we can just add two x to both sides. So now we have y equals two x plus three, so we can go ahead and graph that, positive three, and then up to right one. Okay, so I'll graph that line there, and we'll go down to left one to add some points going in the other direction. There we go. Now let's do this equation, the second equation. Negative four x plus two y equals six. Once again, we wanna put it in slope intercept form, so let's add four x to both sides. We get two y equals four x plus six. And watch what happens when we divide everything by two. We get y equals two x plus three. Right, notice our two equations. They're exactly the same, right? So now once I graph this, it would just line directly on the same line. So that's gonna give us infinitely many solutions. So we can also look at our slope and our y-intercept to tell us a little bit about it, right? Slope was two, y-intercept was three. So if we have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then we have infinitely many solutions, okay? So that is how you solve a system of linear equations by graphing.